Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Vasco from the Angular University and I will be your instructor for this course. Before anything else, this is very important. Uh, please be aware that this is not a beginner's course, so this course assumes previous knowledge on TypeScript, so at least some knowledge on TypeScript, on Angular itself and on RxJS. If you are looking to learn about TypeScript 2 and its latest features and need a practical course that for example teaches you how to build a REST API from A to Z, then in that case please check the TypeScript 2 Masterclass, which is another one of my courses. If you want to learn Angular as a beginner, please check the complete Angular with TypeScript course. And if you want to build an application from top to bottom, a simple application, but still complete, please check the Angular 2 and Firebase Build a Web Application course. This course is specifically about building an application using a store architecture, which is a variant of the Flux architecture, and it's about the NGRX Reactive Extensions library ecosystem in general. I have a quick question for you. Do you think that one single software bug could give rise to a completely new software architecture for our frontend? The answer is actually yes, and you are going to learn all about it in this course. You are going to learn all about the Flux architecture and the original Facebook and Red Messages counter bug that originated it in the beginning. We are going to learn how to build applications in Angular using functional reactive programming and the NGRX store ecosystem. We are going to learn about NGRX store, NGRX store effects, the integration with the router. We are going to learn about the NGRX store developer tools. We are also going to cover immutability, NGRX store freeze, but much more than the separate individual libraries, we are going to learn the big picture of how everything fits together and how can we use these libraries together to build an application from A to Z. We are going to learn how to structure our components, the different types of components, namely smart components, presentational components. We are going to learn how should we design our API, what kind of data should we bring over the wire. We are going to learn how can we use TypeScript to define custom types for the multiple types of data of our application. And you might wonder, how are we going to do all of that? It's very simple. We are going to build the same type of application that was causing the Facebook team so much troubles that it gave rise to a new type of application architecture. We are going to build something that is very similar to the Facebook chat system, a simplified version of it that illustrates the main problem that they are trying to solve and how does the store architecture that they came up with solves that particular problem and how it's a great way of structuring our application. So in summary, this is a Angular architecture course for building applications in a reactive way. That's what this course is about. We will be covering the NGRX reactive extensions libraries in detail, but this course is really about how do the libraries fit together to produce a complete application architecture from top to bottom. I hope that you will enjoy this course. I bet that you are going to have a lot of fun building this chat application. I invite you to click the take this course button and let's start learning Angular architecture and the Angular reactive extensions together. Thank you for watching and I will see you inside the course.